Every year, the world consumes trillions of gallons of fuel, powering everything from cars and trucks to planes and ships. But before it reaches gas stations and engines, crude oil undergoes a complex journey of separation, refinement, and transformation. With countries like the US, Saudi Arabia, and Russia controlling most of the world's oil, who really decides the price we pay at the pump? And is that fair to the rest of the world? Today, we'll take you inside refineries and pipelines to see the entire process, from crude oil to the cars on our roads. Crude oil is formed over millions of years from the remains of tiny plants and marine organisms buried under layers of sediment. Heat and pressure transform this organic matter into hydrocarbons, creating vast reservoirs beneath the Earth's surface. These reservoirs are concentrated in regions like the Middle East, the United States, and Russia, which together control a significant portion of global oil production. Understanding where oil comes from sets the stage for the massive extraction and refining process that follows. Geologists and energy companies locate oil reserves using advanced techniques such as seismic surveys, satellite imaging, and geological sampling. These methods allow engineers to pinpoint underground reservoirs that may contain billions of gallons of crude. Once a site is confirmed, drilling operations begin, often requiring enormous rigs that penetrate thousands of meters beneath the earth. The careful study of these formations ensures that extraction is feasible and efficient, minimizing wasted effort while preparing for the massive global demand for fuel. Not all crude oil is the same. It varies in density, sulfur content, and viscosity. Light, sweet crude is easier to refine into gasoline, whereas heavier, sour crude requires more complex processes. Refineries must adapt to these variations, designing equipment capable of handling different grades of oil simultaneously. These differences also influence global trade, as countries with lighter crude may sell at higher prices, while heavier crude often requires international partnerships to reach optimal markets markets for refining and distribution. Oil deposits are often located offshore or in remote regions, presenting logistical challenges. Offshore platforms rise from the ocean, equipped with drilling towers, storage tanks, and pipelines that transport oil to refineries. Onshore, massive rigs, trucks, and pumping stations work together to move crude from well to storage. The scale is enormous. Every day, Millions of barrels flow through these systems. This initial stage of crude oil production lays the foundation for the transformation that turns it into the fuels that power our modern world. From formation to discovery, crude oil is a product of both nature and science. Its extraction is a monumental task, connecting geologists, engineers, and machines in a coordinated effort to meet global energy needs. But here's a question for viewers. Should countries rich in oil be able to control prices worldwide, or should energy independence be a goal for more nations? Comment below with your thoughts as we move to Chapter 2, where we'll explore how crude oil is transported and prepared for refining. Once oil reserves are located, massive drilling rigs extract crude from underground reservoirs. Onshore wells use pumps to bring oil to the surface, while offshore platforms rely on complex engineering to reach deposits beneath the ocean floor. Extraction involves continuous monitoring of pressure, temperature, and flow rates to maximize output while preventing accidents. Millions of barrels move daily, requiring precision and coordination to ensure that the crude remains uncontaminated before it begins its journey to refineries. After extraction, crude oil is transported through pipelines, tankers, and trucks to processing facilities. Pipelines spanning thousands of miles provide the most efficient route, while super tankers carry crude across oceans to international markets. Transport safety is critical. Leaks or spills could be catastrophic for both the environment and economies dependent on this fuel. Monitoring systems detect pressure changes and potential hazards, ensuring that the crude reaches refineries in its raw form, ready for the complex refining process ahead. 
Pipelines are engineered with precision, often buried underground or elevated on supports in remote areas. Pumping stations maintain the flow across vast distances, overcoming terrain challenges such as mountains, rivers, and deserts. For overseas transport, massive tankers are loaded in ports equipped with storage tanks, safety systems, and customs inspections. Coordinating these logistics requires advanced planning as delays or accidents could disrupt supply chains and influence global fuel prices. Highlighting the critical role transportation plays in delivering crude from source to refinery. Crude oil must also undergo pretreatment before entering the refinery. This includes removing water, sediments, and gas that naturally accumulate during extraction and transport. Specialized separators and storage tanks ensure the crude is clean and stable, preventing damage to refinery equipment. Even a minor impurity can reduce efficiency, leading to higher costs or lower yields. This stage bridges the natural formation and industrial transformation, ensuring that the raw material is ready for the chemical processes that will eventually produce gasoline, diesel, and jet fuel. Extraction and transportation are the lifelines of the global fuel industry, linking geology with engineering and logistics. Millions of people, machines, and systems work in tandem to move crude safely from underground reservoirs to refineries. But here's a question for you. With such dependence on pipelines, tankers, and global routes, should nations invest more in alternative energy to reduce reliance on imported oil? Comment your thoughts below as we move into Chapter 3, where refining transforms crude into usable fuels. At the refinery, crude oil undergoes its first major transformation through distillation. The process the process heats crude to extreme temperatures, separating it into different components based on boiling points. Lighter fractions like gasoline and kerosene rise to the top, while heavier ones like diesel and fuel oil settle below. Towers, heat exchangers, and condensers work continuously to maximize yield. Precision is critical. Even a minor temperature fluctuation can alter the composition of fractions, affecting the quality and quantity of the final fuel products. After distillation, a chemical processing further refines each fraction. Processes like cracking, reforming, and desulfurization break heavy hydrocarbons into lighter, more useful molecules. Catalysts speed up reactions while reducing energy costs, and machines ensure precise pressure and temperature control. These steps transform raw, unrefined hydrocarbons into fuels that meet strict industry standards. Every adjustment affects efficiency, output, and environmental compliance, showcasing the intricate balance between chemistry, engineering, and safety in modern fuel production. Refineries also separate byproducts that serve other industries. Naphtha, asphalt, lubricants, and petrochemicals are diverted from fuel lines to produce plastics, coatings, and industrial materials. Storage tanks, pipelines, and automated monitoring systems maintain flow while preventing contamination. The scale is enormous. Millions of barrels are processed daily, each fraction carefully tracked. This integration of fuel and byproduct processing demonstrates the refinery's dual role in powering vehicles and supplying materials that shape modern life, all while maintaining safety and precision. Once refined, fuels undergo rigorous quality control. Laboratories test octane levels, sulfur content, viscosity, and combustion efficiency to ensure every batch meets international standards. Any deviation can result in engines underperforming or failing emission regulations. Automated sensors and human technicians collaborate to detect impurities, verify chemical composition, and confirm storage readiness. Only after passing these checks are fuels pumped into distribution networks, ready to power vehicles, aircraft, and ships across the globe, reflecting the technical expertise required to transform crude oil into usable energy. The refining stage is where crude oil truly becomes fuel that powers the modern world, yet it also raises questions about dependency, environmental impact,
and global energy control. Should nations continue relying on fossil fuels or is it time to accelerate alternative energy solutions to reduce the risks and geopolitical influence of oil? Comment your thoughts below as we move into Chapter 4, Distribution, Storage, and Global Impact, where refined fuels are delivered to the vehicles, airports, and ships that rely on them. Once refined, fuels are transported through an extensive network of pipelines, tankers, and trucks to storage terminals near cities, ports, and airports. Pipelines provide the fastest, safest route over land, while tankers carry vast quantities across oceans. Storage facilities use massive tanks with temperature and pressure controls to maintain fuel quality. Every stage requires careful monitoring to prevent leaks or contamination, ensuring that gasoline, diesel, and jet fuel reach end users safely and efficiently while keeping supply chains uninterrupted across the globe. From terminals, fuels are distributed to gas stations, airports, and industrial sites. Trucks and smaller tankers deliver fuel in precise quantities, guided by logistics software that optimizes routes and timing. Airports receive specialized aviation fuel while industries rely on diesel and heating oils. Fuel must maintain consistent quality as even minor impurities can damage engines or turbines. Distribution networks are therefore tightly regulated and monitored, demonstrating how global infrastructure and meticulous planning sustain the modern world's demand for energy without interruption. Alongside transportation, storage plays a critical role in energy security. Strategic reserves hold millions of barrels of fuel to mitigate supply disruptions caused by geopolitical conflicts, natural disasters, or refinery shutdowns. Tanks are designed with multiple safety systems, including leak detection, fire suppression, and overflow prevention. These precautions protect both the environment and the economy. The combination of storage and distribution ensures that fuel remains available at all times, making our cars, trucks, planes, and ships operate reliably while supporting daily life worldwide. Globally, fuel consumption drives industries, economies, and transportation networks. Trillions of gallons are used every year to power vehicles, generate electricity, and enable trade. The scale is staggering. Each gallon represents countless hours of extraction, refining, and logistics. The industry's impact goes beyond energy. It influences geopolitics, global trade, and even climate change. Understanding the journey from crude to consumer highlights how essential and interconnected fuel is in modern life while also raising questions about sustainability and and reliance on fossil fuels for decades to come. From extraction to refining to delivery, fuels shape the world we live in, yet they also spark debate. With trillions of gallons consumed yearly and global dependence on fossil fuels, should countries invest more aggressively in renewable energy to reduce environmental and geopolitical risks? Comment your thoughts below. Like and share this video. Subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next journey into how billions of plastic pipes are made. From polymer to plumbing, uncovering the processes that shape our modern infrastructure.